Hey guys, this is Goofer King Science. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make copper oxide, a precursor to copper chloride, as well as an ingredient in copper thermite. First, I dissolved 25 grams of copper sulfate in water. Then I measured out 10 grams, which is a slight excess for this reaction of sodium hydroxide. The sodium hydroxide was then dissolved in a small amount of water. You can scale up this reaction, just know that you will need one mole of copper sulfate to every two moles of sodium hydroxide. And it's always a good idea to use a slight excess of sodium hydroxide. When ready, add the sodium hydroxide solution to the copper sulfate. A dark blue precipitate of copper hydroxide will form. Next, begin to heat this copper hydroxide. This will decompose it into copper oxide, which is black. After five to ten minutes, you can see that this has been fully decomposed into copper oxide. Now we need to filter and dry this. I chose to use a vacuum filtration setup. You can use gravity filtration, just know that it'll take a little bit longer. It's a good idea to wash the copper oxide with some hot water to remove any soluble impurities. I recently got this vacuum filtration setup, and I'm really liking it so far. Here's the final yield of wet copper oxide. This can be dried in an oven or out in the sun. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.